the store to get a physical, um, a physical piece of plastic to put into my uh, device. So, um, does that answer your question? Um, yeah, with, with 3D, um, th 3D has just become expected and there hasn't been a lot of content. Um, while Hollywood, every year I went to the Consumer Electronics Show and, um, and Fox and MGM and Universal would all say the same thing. Oh, we're making so many uh, 3D movies. And I love 3D. I, I, love, I love watching it. Uh, wh whenever I can, I, I will watch it. Um, but it, it's just become another feature and benefit. Uh, what, what's really taking off and what you're going to see in television as, as I said is cloud um, is, is going to be critical you'll be negotiating you know, between 20 gigabytes from Sony uh, and 50 gigabytes from LG um, you, you, and you'll, you'll get 3D glasses you know, with it uh, the other thing that, that has held 3D back is there are two formats well, yeah, two formats now um, there's the active format where you've got batteries and you've got to charge the, the, uh, the glasses and the glasses cost about $100 and there's the ones like the, um, uh, the, ones, like the ones you get at the movies uh, which are $5 each. But people are not buying televisions based on, on the 3D technology that, that's driven into the television. Um, I, I think what you will see with, uh, with streaming content, you, you may start to see um, that once we've got the bandwidth, and if we, um, going back to your question, you're going back to your question, if we haven't got the bandwidth, um, we're not going to be able to, uh, to stream 3D. Um, but uh, the big leap in television now is ultra high definition. And uh, seriously, when you see some of the, the, um, the, the native ultra high definition uh, footage, it's just brilliant. So. To answer your question, no, I don't think 3D is going to, going to figure large in the future of television technology. It'll be about cloud, it'll be about ultra high definition, it'll be about curved screens, it'll be about roll up screens, uh, it'll be about um, uh, OLED, which will be launched in, in June. Um, essentially, uh, a 60 inch television you can pick up, put a bit of blue tack on the back, and stick it on the wall. Um, and seriously, you're going to see that at, at, in, um, uh, in June. So, you know, they're the, the, the technologies that will be driving the industry for the next five years. But uh, 3D doesn't feature. Thanks, Pete. And also you're saying don't go and buy shares at a video store by the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, um, yeah, I was talking to, to, um, uh, to a girl last week uh, who used to work in a video store. And she said it was terrific because you could talk about movies. You know, people would walk in and you'd have that kind of social interaction. And, and she said, um, it's a thing I miss not working in, um, in, in the video store. People are going, that's a rubbish movie. And you know, other people would come back with it and say, oh, it's the best movie you've ever seen. And, um, and she said, you, you just be engaged in conversations with, with the, you know, why did you choose that movie? Yeah. And, um, and, and she said, and all that's gone. <laughs> right, yes. Thank you. So can we give a big round of applause for the best play I've seen before? Thank you. So we've got our morning tea break now. We'll come back at uh, 10.50 to get started with our next session with our next speaker. Thank you, and, and thanks again, Pete. That's fantastic.